everybody, Jennifer Maker here. It's a beautiful day to learn a new sublimation project, pens. Yes, even pens are sublimatable. And I'm gonna show you all the tips, tricks, and new tools to get the best results and the nicest looking seams. Now, sublimating smaller three-dimensional items comes with a learning curve, yes, but I am here to walk you through the whole process and share everything that I've learned. First, you'll need some sublimation pen blanks. I found these on Amazon and they actually double as phone stands. I know, crazy, right? And like all of the other supplies and tools that I'm using today, you can find the link to these in my blog post at jennifermaker.com slash 544. And we're also going to try out a new tool together. This is the Pinch Perfect Sublimation Pen Pincher, and it claims to help you wrap your sublimation paper nice and tight around your pen for a better seam. But how well does it work? You'll have to stick around and find out with me. <laughs> To get your sublimation prints, you'll need a sublimation printer, of course, as well as some sublimation paper. And while we won't need to use a Cricut cutting machine for this project, we will use Cricut Design Space to prepare and print the designs. You'll also want some basic sublimation supplies, like a dedicated air fryer or a convection oven, a sublimation printer and paper, and some other tools and materials that you can find links for over at jennifermaker.com 544. And a silicone mat will help with this project as well. Lastly, you need some pen designs. I've got six different ones that you can use, and I'll even show you how to add personalized text to your pens, plus how to position it for different results, like if you want to make a pen for a left-handed writer. So are you ready to sublimate some pens? Let me show you where to get my free files, and we'll get started. Step one, get my free sublimation pen designs. First, download my designs at jennifermaker.com slash 544. You can either download right from that link by saving the project or download for my entire free design collection. To find it, look for libraries in the red bar at the top, then click either get a password if you don't yet have one or click enter the library. Search the page for design number 544 and click the link to download the designs. There are six floral designs, Black Eyed Susans, marigolds, poppies, roses, sunflowers, and tiger lilies. I used an AI image generator to create the designs, then edited them in Photoshop to make them sublimation ready. You can learn to make your own AI art designs ethically and beautifully in my workshop over at jennifermaker.com slash AI dash art. It's fun and easy. Step two, prepare and print your pen wrap. First, wrap a flexible measuring tape around the pen barrel to find the circumference. Be sure it's lined up precisely and not askew. Mine is 1.26 inches around. Then measure the length. If your pen is angled like mine is, measure to the very end of the longest point on the white sublimatable area. Mine is 4.25 inches long. Now let's design our pen in Cricut Design Space. You can download this app for free at design.cricut.com. So open up Cricut Design Space and then upload the PNG design of your choice as a complex print then cut image, and then add it to your canvas. Now PNGs always come into Cricut Design Space really big because they are high resolution. So with the design selected and the lock icon closed, change the width to roughly one eighth inch to one quarter inch larger than your pen barrel circumference. Since my pen measured 1.26 inches around in circumference, I'll change the width to 1.35 inches here in Cricut Design Space. Then check that the length of the pen design is at least one eighth to one quarter inch longer than the sublimation area. You may see a low resolution warning even after resizing your images, and that's okay, don't worry. They will print just fine at the size needed for this project. The design will now fit my pen's width with a little extra length since we kept the proportions. 
I'll show you what to do later if your design is long too. How to add custom text. The pen design is ready to print, but let's add some text first. This is totally optional, but really fun. First, rotate the design 90 degrees by typing 90 into the rotate box at the top of the window. Then hit enter or return on your keyboard. Now it's oriented for adding text. Use the plus sign to zoom in a bit so you can see the design better. Click the text icon and type your word or phrase. I'll make a pen for Alexa by typing her name. With the text still selected, choose a typeface from the font drop-down menu. You can use a free typeface found in Cricut Design Space, but I want to use one that I've purchased and uploaded called Beosha Script. To find it, I'll look under System. You can also change your text color to match the design by clicking the color box and picking one you like. This gold yellow will look great with the sunflowers. Then resize your text so its height is about one third the size of the design's height here. About 0.42 inches works well. With the text still selected, click Offset to add a solid background around your text with the slider. I think 0.075 inches looks great here. Then select the corner style you'd like. I think the rounded ones look nice here. And make sure the Weld Offsets box is checked to make the offset a single shape. Then click Apply. Now use the color box to change your offset to a color that will help your text stand out from the background. I think white will look really great here. Select both the offset layer and the text and click Group. Then move the text into place over the wrap design. But placement really matters here. First, decide which end of the image needs to be next to the pen clip and which end needs to be next to the writing tip. If you want the seam to be on the back of the pen barrel, so the text is visible when the pen is laid on its side or used for writing, move the text into the upper or lower third of the design, about 0.3 inches away from the edge. Select both the design and text slash offset group, and then click flatten. We can sublimate a few pens at once in the air fryer I have, so let's add the roses PNG and get it ready to customize. I'll add smell the roses as a nice reminder with this rose design using another typeface I downloaded called ZP Gingerbread Cake. Let's make the text red and the offset white. If you center the text, it will be opposite the clip, but will be more difficult to read when the pen is laid on a surface. It's worth experimenting with placement, though. And if you're making a pen for a left-handed person, rotate the image so the clip end is on the left and the tip end is on the right. Then move the text into the upper or lower third of the design, about 0.3 inches away from the edge. Don't forget to flatten the text to the design. When the design prints in mirror image, the text will be flipped, but don't let this confuse you. Just flip the pen barrel too and place it with the clip end on the right. When you're happy with your designs, check that the correct machine is selected in the top corner and then click Make. If you're prompted, click On Mat. On the Prepare screen, make sure the material size is set to 8.5 inches by 11 inches. As with almost any sublimation project, be sure to turn on the mirror toggle and then click continue. With a sheet of sublimation paper loaded correctly into your printer, click send to printer. Choose your sublimation printer and then turn off add bleed since that would add width to the design and we want ours to be as close to the barrel size as possible. Turn on use system dialog and click print. You might need to minimize the Cricut window to show the system dialog box, of course. Then choose the settings needed to produce the highest quality print, and then click Print. Let the printed page dry so you don't smear anything. These are super easy to cut with a paper trimmer, so you can cancel the print then cut operation in Cricut Design Space. Step 3. Prepare your print and pen for sublimation. 
Only the metal barrel of the pen can be heated, so twist off the cone and gently pull the clip and spring system from the other end. Be careful not to lose any of the small pieces. Clean the pen barrel with a lint-free cloth and some rubbing alcohol. Trim the print around the edge to remove the excess paper. Don't leave any white behind or it will be more difficult to hide the seam. Wrap your pen using the Pinch Perfect tool. If you're using the Pinch Perfect tool, set it up nearby. Now find the back of the pen barrel, which should have a notch where the clip goes. Be sure to double check the top and bottom of the pen barrel compared to the top and bottom of the sublimation design. Holding the edge of the print straight against the back of the barrel, wrap the paper around the barrel. Be sure to keep the seam straight and the paper tight to the barrel. The overlap is pretty small to get a nicer looking seam. Make sure the entire length is covered. It's okay if some paper goes off the top or bottom edge. Press the wrapped pen barrel into the tool's pinchers. Apply a piece of heat resistant tape across the center of the design to close the seam. Apply more tape on either side of the center of the wrap design. The pincher's tool cutout areas make it easier to place the tape. Remove the taped pen barrel from the pincher's and place it in the tool's cradle area. Apply one or more longer piece of tape to completely cover the seam. Using a scraper, burnish the seam to make sure it's tight against the barrel and there are no air pockets. Not burnishing can lead to a poor transfer on the seam. Wrap your pen by hand. If you don't have the Pinch Perfect tool, you can do this by hand, but it's a little difficult. To do it, position your trim design on the pen with the top and bottom correct and the straight seam at the back just like before. Hold the edge straight against the back of the barrel and wrap it around really tight. Make sure the entire length is covered and you don't see the pen between the design's edges. Pinch the seam together with one hand and use a piece of tape across the center to close it. Try to pull it tight. Apply more tape tightly on either side of the center with the seam pinched together. Add a long piece of tape to completely cover the seam. And then use your scraper to burnish the seam extra well because it's more likely to have air bubbles if you can't use the tool. Secure your design with a shrink wrap tube. Once the design is secure, take a shrink wrap tube and open the end. Insert the pen barrel inside. Now, wearing heat resistant gloves, set your heat gun to low heat. Apply heat to the wrap, shrinking the sleeve tightly around the pen barrel and smoothing away any wrinkles. Step four, sublimate your pens. Before sublimating, be sure to turn on a fan and or open a window to improve your ventilation. Now follow your pen manufacturer's instructions and preheat your dedicated convection oven or dedicated air fryer to the right temperature. It's supposed to be 375 degrees Fahrenheit, but this air fryer model I have uses 10 degree increments. If your air fryer is like this too, try the lower temperature first. So I'll preheat mine to 370 degrees Fahrenheit or 188 degrees Celsius. This setting did work in my testing. And I like to use a thermometer to make sure the temperature is correct too. Place a silicone baking mat into the middle wire rack so your pens don't fall through. And then set the prepared pen barrel inside. Pen barrels are so small you can sublimate several at once. Be careful though. Don't let the hot barrels touch each other or they'll stick together. They should still be okay if they're stuck though, so don't worry too much. Just try not to have them touch each other. And then set a timer for five minutes. After two and a half minutes, put on your heat resistant gloves and rotate them halfway. Once you hit the five minute mark, remove the pen barrels from the fryer and allow them to cool on a cooling rack for a couple of minutes. Now, because the air fryer used forced heat, your pens may have blown around a bit and gotten stuck together despite your best efforts. But this is fine. Just gently pull them apart. 
if the sticking together thing bugs you, I found that my pens didn't stick together when I used my dedicated convection oven because there was less air moving around. All right, now while the pens are still warm, carefully peel away the shrink wrap sleeve, tape, and sublimation paper from the pen barrel. And after they're cool to the touch, you can reinsert each pen's clip and spring assembly into the end of its barrel. Screw the tip piece back into place on the opposite end. Step five, show it off. And now you have a new sublimation project in your crafting toolbox. Your pens are ready to be used or gifted or sold. And with this particular pen style, it can be used as a smart phone holder. Isn't that neat? I love learning all the awesome things that you can sublimate. When I am out at a store and I see something cute, sometimes I'm like, hey, I can sublimate that at home. <laughs> And now we can all add pens to that list of things that we can make. It is so satisfying to create beautiful things from simple tools and supplies, especially when you can put your own unique spin on them. There are few things more satisfying than responding with the words, thanks, I made that, right? <laughs> now, do you need the perfect pincher tool to sublimate pens? It is totally possible to sublimate a pen without the pincher tool, but I found I got crisper, cleaner results with the tool because of the super tight wrap it helped me get. So if you're going to be sublimating a lot of pens, I would definitely recommend purchasing one. It really made it a lot easier. Now, if you want to learn more about sublimation, I also have a sublimation group just for sublimation crafting, which is a really fun way to see all of the fun that you can have with it. Plus the amazing things that you can make. Whether you're new to sublimation or not, you are welcome to come join us at jennifermaker.com slash sublimation group. I'd love to have you come ask questions, share ideas, and get inspired. And that's it for today. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love.